Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be testing five new no glue slime recipes. And you may be hearing something really peculiar in my background. We got baby guinea keats, which are kind of like chickens, but not really. Aren't they cute? Okay, I have my container. I'm gonna put some water in it, just a little bit. Next, we're gonna add in some coloring. And I'm choosing this cool spray food coloring. It's gonna add a little bit to it. And next, is our shampoo. All right, I'm gonna stir this up and try and combine these ingredients. A pinch of salt. Mix it up. So now we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. For this next slime, we're gonna need some water and a whole lot of airheads. Blue raspberry. Cherry, what is y'all's favorite airhead flavor? Comment down below. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, it's steamy. Ooh, yes. So we added the water initially so that it would help microwave it and break it down. Sometimes if you don't add water, the um, sugars don't do anything. They just stay like a brick in there. It smells delicious. The color's not so great anymore though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to this, this is obviously not slime, but to this we're gonna add some powdered sugar. All right, it's thickening up. So this is kind of becoming like a grayish color here. Who knew? We're trying to get to the consistency of like a taffy. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna try and knead it and see what it happens. Okay guys, after adding a lot more powdered sugar, I'd say we ended up adding about two and a half cups of powdered sugar to these airheads. We now have the consistency of a taffy slime. Look at this. Look at that stretch. That is a good slime right there. And it's edible. Woo, that's a big piece, Riley. It's mine. <laughs> that's good. For this next slime, we're gonna be using okra. If any of y'all have ever eaten okra, you know the inside of here is very slimy and in some gumbos and soups, they actually use this as a congladulant. Is that the right word? Where it ties and pulls everything together instead of using egg. So I thought, hey, this might be a great slime. So that's what we're gonna try. So look at all those in there. Doesn't look all that slimy, so this might not go as planned. Let's see. Slime, where's the slime at? There's no slime. Maybe I gotta boil these things. Ooh, there we go. Hello. You see the little bubble? Maybe I need to break it up a little bit. Ooh. That is disgusting looking, oh my gosh, that's so gross. So there's not as much slime as I thought there would be and so I thought you would just cut it and there'd be slime. Obviously I've never had any um, actually out of the produce section. It comes out of my freezer. So I'm gonna stick these in a pot and see if we can get some more slime-ish kind of stuff coming out. And then we're gonna try to make slime with that slime. Okay guys, for this next one, we're gonna use some marshmallows, the really super huge kind, and a stove. So, we're just gonna take probably two of these. I think that'd be plenty for what we want to do. We're trying to make a no glue slime out of this. And we're gonna add a little bit of butter so that our marshmallows don't stick to our pan because that would be awful. I guess I need to turn the stove on. Medium low, eh, let's do it at three and a half. But these are gonna break down and hopefully give us kind of a ooey gooey effect that we can make slime with. All right guys, from here, I'm gonna add in some powdered sugar. And stir that in. I'm gonna get it out of this pan so that it can cool down a little bit and that can handle it and finish adding in my other ingredients. It is hot, 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 h
color this because this is kind of boring. Let's color this bad boy some yellow. Look at that. What does yellow and pink make? Orange. Ooh, let's do that. It's gonna make it an orange. Oh, wow. Riley's favorite color. No, my least <laughs> favorite. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna get myself all colored up now. I'm so good. <laughs> I think I have like, what would that be? Third degree burns? Ow! That is it. That is turning into slime though. Look at that. Like, how stretchy. And it's a really pretty orange. It's one of those pastels. I usually like the neons, of course, but that's a pretty pastel orange. Look at that stretch. Edible, no glue slime right here. But we got more to do here. Hold on. So I really wanted to dress this up and not just make it an edible no glue slime. I wanted to do something very special that I've never done before. I'm going to make a crunchy no glue slime that's also edible. Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty. Those are the best mixes. So here, watch me try not to hurt myself. Do you hear the crunch? Riley, you gotta try this. You're gonna be my taste tester today. Try that, Riley. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You like it? Very sweet and crunchy and salty. I like salt a lot, so. All right, guys, it's time to check in on our shampoo slime. I love the color. Let's see about the consistency. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, it's kind of like a jello consistency. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really, really surprised. When I put it in the refrigerator, I was kind of sketch about it, but uh, I don't think it's actually a slime slime because I really don't want to touch it. It's, but I did anyway, look at that. Um, but it does have some consistency to it. So, yeah, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't call this a slime. It's more like a fill, but I'm really impressed with how it shaped up. Okay guys, for our next no glue slime, we've actually done this one or a, an addition of it. I'm gonna change up the recipe and see if it works just as well, or if not better, or if not better, yeah, if not better. And uh, let's go from there. So the first thing you're gonna need is some all purpose flour. No exact measurements are really needed for this one. Gonna need some water. Don't go crazy, you just need a little bit. Oh. I'm overshooting because like it's just coming out of the jar like a crazy thing. All right, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Just incorporate the water somewhat. All right, to so that, we're gonna add in some self-rising flour. So this is the new ingredient. I'm trying to see what will happen. Okay, a little more flour. I mean, a little more water. And I wanna add some coloring too. i add some of this pretty blue here. Looks kinda, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Looks kinda sketchy. It's like, a mess, it's not the gel kind, so I don't know about this. Oh, it's working just perfectly. It is the gel kind, it's not the liquid kind. Oh, but it's not like the gel that we eat, it's like, um, this is more of a, it's more solid, because it's old. <laughs> Ew. There we go. Oh no, look what happened. I hurt myself, no, just kidding. We have added too much water, so I'm gonna add a little more flour. I'm gonna do the self-rising, make that the start of this slime. All right, guys, it's coming together. Yes, here we go. We're getting a dough slime consistency. All right, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna knead it. It's a little sticky yet, so a little more flour. Kind of like making biscuits. 
Brownie's about to die over here. Why? Why is that funny? Has everyone, has anybody ever made biscuits? You gotta, you gotta get some more flour on that stuff. What are you, what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? We're making biscuits. We got to the slime consistency. Ooh, look at that dark blue there. Oh, oh, and it got me. Look at that. It always gets me. It's always the blue. So we got some good stretch. And that, my folks, is dough slime. No glue. It's actually edible. Dough slime. Probably wouldn't taste that good, though. Taste it, right? No, mm, thank you. You didn't taste more than that. <laughs> I didn't taste it at all. Tastes like a biscuit. Here is our okra. It's been sitting for just a little bit. Ooh, look. Watch this. Look at that. That's not water, folks. That is slime. We got okra slime here with a side of nasty. Ew, ew, look at that. That is gross. All right, so this is not slime just by itself. I mean, this is the okra slime, but we want to actually see if we can make slime out of okra. So. This water is really hot and I keep dipping my finger in it. So we're gonna put this in a bowl. All right, look at all that glorious water slime. To the microwave we go. All right guys, this has been microwaved for a good minute and a half. I did add some salt to the layer of it to see if that would bring it together to make a slime. Let's see what we got. We still have just okra slime here. But I'm not ready to give up. If I was other YouTubers, I would probably add some glue in here while you weren't looking and say, Abracadabra, I made slime. But I'm not that person. I like to be truthful about what I'm making here. So I'm going to add in a little bit of flour. And let's see if we can get it to come together. Ooh, yeah. That looks really disgusting. Um, I think I just messed it all up. <laughs> that is gross. It's like, Whoa. it's like curdled. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's like cottage cheese-ish looking. <laughs> Nightmares. Riley's gonna throw up now. <laughs> it's disgusting. Um, that's not what I thought would have happened. I didn't realize that it was just gonna clump together. I mean, I'm gonna add a little more salt <laughs> and see. If I can uh, get it to come together. A little more salt. Just a yeah, little. Yeah, just a little. Just a little. Totally wasn't like half the thing. <laughs> I mean, I can smell what the salt. What did you do? I ruined it. I ruined it. <laughs> All right, so okra makes its own slime, but you cannot make slime from okra.